Luke chapter 16, verse 19 said, There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. This is the, this is the King James Version. Fared sumptuously every day. The word sumptuously means he had plenty to eat. He had an abundance to eat. Every day he had plenty to eat. And then it goes on saying, There was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which laid at his gate full of sores. Luke 16, 21 says, And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover the dogs came and licked his sores. Talking about Lazarus the beggar. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by angels into Abraham's bosom. Abraham represents the father of nations. So we're talking about our heavenly father. The rich man also died and was buried. Luke 16, 23. And in hell, the rich man lifted up his eyes, being tormented, and he see Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. That's why I say the way it's described here, according to what Jesus said, I'm not sure, literally speaking, uh, but it could be the spiritual, in that spiritual context, in that different dimension. The rich man was able to recognize Lazarus and able to see Abraham. And let me share this with you. If he recognized him in the afterlife, he walked over him, he recognized him in the earthly life. He knew he was out there. Yeah. He fared sumptuously every day. He knew that. And walked right over him. Because in the afterlife, he recognized him. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Luke 16, 24. And the rich man cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus. He, he, <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. <laughs> You still ain't getting it. It's still not registered. It's not registered. He's still trying to command somebody. He still think he got it going on. He in hell. Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus. He didn't say, send me. He said, send Lazarus. I see him over there. Put him to work. <laughs> Whew, okay, anyway. Luke 16, 24. He said, send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water. And cool my, it's all about me. Cool my tongue. Parking for a quick 30 seconds. People who make their life all about themselves, they're going to be in torment. Somebody's not going to cater to you. It took the afterlife to show this rich man. Everybody's not going to cater to you. Be careful of making it all about yourself. The word is called narcissism. When it's about me and nobody else. God is blessing me and nobody else. <laughs> when we think it's only about us and nobody else. That's narcissism. And guess what? Narcissists is going to wake up in torment. Because there will be someone out there that won't cater to their whims. The rich man had to learn, this is not about you now. I mean, it is about you, but it's not about you the way you think it is. He 
He said, dip the tip of his finger, Luke 16, 24, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. I'm burning up. I need some water. I'm thirsty. And Abraham replied to him. So he recognized Father Abraham. He recognized Lazarus. In hell, there was recognition. Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in your lifetime receivest all those good things. And likewise, Lazarus, he received evil things. But now he is comforter, and you are tormented of his own doing. When people don't receive Jesus Christ as Savior, they are doing things of their own doing. Amen. Get all the money you want. Get all the property you want. Get all the stocks and bonds and all the things you want. If you don't have Jesus Christ as your Savior, you are doing it to yourself when it comes to the judgment of God. I, read, I, read, I just read Revelation chapter 21, verse 3, where it says, uh, God will come in and be our tabernacle. He will dwell with us. We'll be his people. He will be our God. And I read in there, there will be no more crying, no more sorrow, no more pain, no more tears, no more death. I read all that. That awaits those that understand that I need God in my life. I must give, I must give my life to him. That awaits those that, that have that type of mentality. Those who don't think they need God, this is their, this is their future. Amen. He said, I'm tormented in this flame. Amen. But Abraham said, son, remember, Luke 16, 25, that thou in your lifetime received good things and Lazarus evil things. Now he is comforted and you are tormented. Amen. Luke 16, 26 says, and besides all this, Amen. between us and you, <laughs> There is a great gulf and it's fixed. There's a dimension there. And it ain't, it ain't going to change. Amen. So that they which would pass from here to you cannot, neither can they pass from you to us. In other words, you can see us, but you can't be us. Amen. Amen. You can see us, but you can't be us. Amen. You see where you are, and you know where you are. You see where we are, and you know where we are. And you can't come to us, and we can't come to you. Verse 27 says, Then he said, rich man, the rich man said, I pray, therefore, Father, that thou would send him to my father. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Still trying. Wait a minute. Still trying to get Lazarus to do his bidding. Wait a minute. Come on now. Wait a minute. <laughs> Put his finger in the tip of water. Clench my parching tongue and all this other. He still think that Lazarus is in Abraham's bosom to serve him. I pray therefore, Father, that thou wilt send Lazarus to my father's house. For I have five brethren, and they just like me. <laughs> that ain't scripture, but I'm just saying. I have five brethren. Luke 16, 28. I have five brethren that he may testify to them lest they also come into this place of torment. Well, they are just like you. They just like you. <laughs> Abraham said unto him, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. In other words, Father Abraham said, there's in place mechanisms. There's in place processes that if they want to miss where you are, if they hear them, they can miss where you are. We don't have to send nobody back from death to talk. 
There, there, there are preachers, there are ministers, there's pastors, there's prophets, there's evangelists, there's teachers, there's apostles, there's bishops, there's people in place. That if they don't want to come here in torment, mm -hmm. they can hear from them. Amen. We don't have to send somebody back from the dead to tell them. No, that, that's not how it works. That's not, that's not the design. We're talking about God. He's the ultimate designer. That's not how he designed it. Amen. 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 Luke 16 verse 30 says, Nay, Father Abraham. Now you're going to try to tell Father Abraham. Well, <laughs> woo, mercy. Now you're going to try to tell Father Abraham the process and how, how it goes. Nay, Father Abraham. But if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. <laughs> he just told them. He said, as Moses and the he already told him, this is the process. And he said, nah, it ain't the process. Wait a minute now. He told them, he said, Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. That's the process. And he turned around and said, nay, Father Abraham, that's not the way to do it. <laughs> If somebody from the dead went, they would repent. And he said, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded through one rose from the dead. Oh my. Don't try to convince. In the afterlife, you're trying to convince me. Wait a minute. You in torment. How you going to tell me I'm over in, in glory in heaven. You in torment. How you gonna tell me how it works when it didn't work? When did, you didn't even do the process. Amen. It didn't work for you. Didn't work for you. And you gonna tell me how it worked? I'm over here. What I did worked for me. I trusted God. I believed in God. I served God. Guess what? It worked for me. I'm in glory. I, it worked for me. You didn't trust God. You didn't believe God. You didn't give your life to God. You didn't serve God. It didn't work for you. And now you're going to tell me how to make sure it works for your brothers. Yeah. They won't hear from somebody from the grave. If they don't hear from the prophets, they don't hear. Because that's God. Can I say this? God, that's God's divine order. God uses men to tell men. He used living to tell the living. Amen. When Jesus died on the cross, the Bible says that some of the saints, Old Testament saints, got up and walked the earth. Why? Because once Jesus said it is finished and gave up the ghosts, now he can go down in the dead and tell the dead. And so they can get up. The living tell the living. The dead speak to the dead. Like he's in torment and he's speaking to Abraham. They both dead. Physically, not eternally. The living can reach out and touch the living. That's how God designed it.